One millimeter over would make the bike react completely different. GT has taken this design and they've reconfigured it. You know, it's, it's not dumbing it down, it's actually smarting it up. Three days after I won the, my first downhill walk-up ever, he never had a moment where he did not feel comfortable. And when you both yourself and the bike together, it's the best feeling ever to cross the finish line. But you had to be able to trust those bikes and those bikes delivered. been around for the last 30 years and it's been fun the whole time but I think it's never been funner than now because we have better bikes and better trails and better riding styles or techniques you know and it's just like it came to a point that was unimaginable like 30 years ago. Actually I've always dreamed to go back on a 90s bike uh, with almost no suspension and actually ride the tracks that the guys were riding back in the days. And uh, just to see how it feels like and to ride on a 30 or 25 years bike. Having won the first, my first pro road downhill race was on a hardtail. Like to go from the most simplest bike to then the RTS and then come full circle to ride the LTS, which I, that was pretty much the end of my bike riding. That was fun. For me personally, it feels good to know that you, know, you were part of that evolution and you were there to kind of go through all that stuff as a R&D athlete. One thing I can tell you with a straight face, and, and I know every bike everybody was on, the bikes that won at every level were available to the consumers. There was nothing special about them. When you can be involved in that process, you know, hey Busby, hey, you know, whoever, like let's change this and do this, and it, those changes occur, and then that product ends up being like a really good product and sells really well and you see people out on the trail riding it and they're pumped on it and you know you had a little something to do with it. That's pretty cool. We ride stock bikes and I like to see this inspired people out there go and ride their bikes. We want people to be part of this team and the brand and appreciate the brand. I think I still inspire people or and I, I pioneer my own little segments. Maybe I don't pioneer the extreme segment anymore. I mean, what these guys do now at the Rampage, it's unbelievable. We could have never imagined it. It wasn't just down to the bikes. It was just like, it's the, the talent these kids have. When you see these days, like how much the suspension affects your riding and how much the suspension actually helps you riding fast and eating pretty much anything on the track and you know back in the days it was they had to handle the bike and they couldn't go anywhere like pretty much we do right now. I had a real eye-opener in 2014 I was managing a World Cup team and I had been off the circuit for about eight years and we did a course walk and I was walking with the riders and I thought I was gonna impart this wisdom. Like, I'm gonna tell the, I'm gonna help the guys, and I'm gonna tell them how to take the section. And we crested over this blind rise, and there was this nasty rock garden, and there was a line that was cutting through from the local riders and the local races, and it was this perfect slot. And I was like, guys, we'll set up the turn, and we'll line up, and you're just gonna be able to go through there, no breaks. And, and uh, one of the riders, like, pulled me, and he goes, hey, man, we're gonna jump the whole thing. <laughs> and I, I had to walk back up to the top. I was standing at the bottom at the time, so I walked back to the top and I looked at it, and man, it was like 45 feet blind. And uh, I just, 
I just shook my head and I shut my mouth. You got one mouth and two ears, man. And I used them in that order. And you can't stop the mind. The athletes, and that's why, you know, Carter, for title, that's why I still say champ whenever I see him because, man, when you're a freaking champion, you deserve it and you should be recognized as a champion. And so for even for the athletes that aren't champions but are still pulling those kind of tricks, man, it's like you have nothing but respect because who in their right mind would do that kind of stuff? And luckily, there's a bicycle there to make them do it. I guess somebody had to start somewhere and show them what's possible and then from there they take it, you know, but um, it's, it's, been, it's been an honor and, uh, and you know, I'm living, living, the, living my dream. This one was back in the day. This was like my first jersey, I think, a long time ago. Pretty fun. You know, I've been doing this for 46, 47 years. And um, I'm, <clears throat> I never stop feeling good when somebody comes up and you know pats me on the back and tells me what they thought, what they've done. We all had the passion, from, from the people that worked at the company to the racers. It, just, I think just GT, anybody that was at GT had passion for winning and for racing, and, and it showed through everything we did. To this day, I mean, you know, I'm still always in awe of, of, of all the things we accomplished. <clears throat> I'm no longer with GT, but, you know, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to bleed blue and yellow. Whether we are at the apex of the racing, I don't, that's not for me to judge, but I know it changed my life, um, without a doubt. I don't know what I would have become. <laughs> yeah, I was 15 years old, the first contract I signed with them, and it's been seven years now already that I'm riding for GT and, you know, it makes me just push myself even more at the races just because I love the brand and I love everyone working at the company as well and they've always been so nice to me that, you know, I just want to give it back to them uh, when I'm racing. How proud of you are you of the, that so many people kind of accomplished their personal goals and thousands of people and hundreds of thousands of people that have enjoyed cycling based on technology that you developed in your career at GT. How does that make you feel? Hundreds, if not millions of people. I know, I mean, I, grateful. Just grateful. I, here we go again. I don't know, it's just, that's just how I am as a person, you know, and having people, you know, just be happy that I was part of it. It isn't about money, it isn't about anything, it's about are you happy at the end of the day when you put your head on your pillow? And that's all you'd want. And if my bike helped you, I, you know, that's, that's all I was looking for. Cut. <laughs>